facts. Now press rewind. Welcome to Brain Squeeze Reactions, myself, Mark Heck, to what are we reacting to now? Uh, Tupac, 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 kind of, 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 um, I, I, I'm reacting to a gent called Spice One, okay, I've just literally come off the back of a reaction of Spice One doing a, an interview on the, uh, dialogue, or the art of dialogue, I think it's called, something like, my apologies, I've forgotten what it's called, but it does come up, it does come up, um, and he's been talking about Tupac, now, in the last video, if you haven't watched it, he referred, <laughs> He referred to uh, uh, Jay-Z and Tupac being compared and his whole analysis of how he feels about Tupac being compared against Jay-Z is second to none. And I couldn't help but go and I thought, fuck it. You know what? You can have two because I'm going into it again because it was brilliant. It was brilliant. Now, the heading on this one has got old fucking cream puffy in it. So I'm going to be frustrated. At the beginning of the last video, I got fucking frustrated. But this is puffy. Why didn't you warn Tupac that he was going to get set up at Quad? studios and then it says biggie died over and it looks like i'll never know uh biggie died over something so we'll see where this one goes so uh, this was the first time that he got shot at quad studios if i remember correctly because uh, he would be in the car so obviously that is hector come on man come on um and there was some shit about puffy so puffy was having an argument with someone uh and this came from gene who i now know was the the bodyguard of puffy see i'm learning man i'm learning and he was saying that there was arguments taking place on the day on the day because because biggie was rapping as well in the studios or something around around like that i need to dig a bit deeper into it because it was a third party account uh but let's go into this if you're new to the channel this is what you get i'm gonna pause and i'm gonna rewind and i'm gonna talk a fucking lot but just to let you know you're on the number one reaction channel for tupac shakur remember where this fucking started properly and the effort i put in a hundred plus videos and still going every fucking book known to man i'm starting to buy and anything that links to tupac shakur comment section is for love brainiacs you know that haters it is not for hate so go fuck yourself let's jump in spice one art of dialogue that's what it was called spice one is a fucking genius by the, the way. quad studios incident where tupac got shot and robbed if i'm not mistaken tupac actually spoke to you about the incident right and told you what happened well well, well i was the reason i'm not on on machiavelli and all eyes on me is because I was in LA County for three months. So he, after all of that shit happened and he got shot and all of that, I was, you know, and he, he I, I go, I get out, he come pick me up at the hotel. Um, and you know, uh, we, we go to his mom's house and she made us, Feeney made us some sandwiches. We start drinking Hennessy and, 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 uh, and, and, um, and, and apple juice. And we sat down, he took his bandana off. And then I seen a dent, I seen a dent in his head when he took his bandana off. And then he took his shirt off and he had the white beater on. And then I seen the bullet holes in his, in his chest around that, that area and shit. And I immediately, the adrenaline from my, my pinky toe immediately just started rushing all the way up to my top of my head. And I, and all I was thinking was like, man, how the fuck you go out to New York and come back like that, man? You went out there to do a song with the niggas and came back like that? Like, like, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop it. What the fuck happened? Okay, I need, to, I need to know who this dude is and how he fits in. So in the last one, it wasn't made clear on who he was. My apologies if anyone in the comment section has told me who, who this dude was. I, I don't remember seeing Spice One's name come up, but you can see the love. So this is a different video to the last one. The last one was was funny, so this is a very different version. And obviously he's saying he's seeing his boy and then and then seeing him with holes in him and a dent in his head. Was the dent in his head from prison or was it from the same situation um, that, that that happened in the shooting? Did they, did they stop? Stomp him as well? Fucking hell, I hope not. Not that it makes any difference where the fuck he was getting beaten up at. Um, so I just want to know what the dent in the head is in reference to. But yeah, it's a very, very different uh, uh, interview that I saw a couple of minutes ago. You know, and so he was like, he said, man, I, 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 I was, he said, nigga, I walked into the fucking lobby. And he said it was, it was niggas with newspapers and shit looking over him and shit at me. You know what I'm saying? So he said he was thinking something ain't right when he when he seen that. He said motherfuckers had a newspaper and was, and was looking over the shit and like that. You know what I'm saying? And he said he went to the uh, you know he walked to the elevator and he, and he, and he um, you know he got ready to go up to the top and some niggas ran up in there and, and pulled out some, some a pistol and said, "Pot, give me your shit." And he said, "I didn't want to give up my shit, so I grabbed the nigga gun." 
And then he, he grabbed the nigga gun and they started tussling with the with the pistol and he said, dude shot and he hit him in the stomach and he stopped and looked at each other and shit and they kept tussling. Dude shot again and, and then he, I think he hit him in the stomach or, or somewhere again and he shot the third time and he said he shot him in the balls. Pac said he shot me in the balls. He said, I fell to the floor. He said, I, I, I was done after that. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, nigga, you got me. I'm, I'm cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, and and he said, dude shot like two or three more times. This was this is what we, what was making me mad when he was telling me. Ah, fuck. So that's the first time I've heard that. First time I've heard that from, from how he was shot. So the dude's come at him with a gun saying, give up all your shit. He's gra This dude is a fuck. You, man, are a fucking soldier. Grabbed the gun. Got shot. I'm fucking goosing it. Ain't even a song. Got shot. Look the dude square in the eyes. Continued to hustle. Got shot again. And then again in the nuts. And even... It Man, just flick him in the nuts and I'll be down. It took him to be shot in the fucking bollocks to be down. And then whoever the fuck is on a uh, 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 fucking P. Diddy's pay grade um, shot him again whilst he was on the floor. And that sounds about right, knowing from where that fucking come okay, from. Okay, you got me. I'm, I'm cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and he said, dude shot like two or three more times. This was, this is what, we, what was making me mad when he was telling me. Mm. Like, you know, come on, man. What the fuck? You know, what the fuck? For real, nigga? In the studio where Biggie and, and, and um, Puffy run? That's the yeah, so, so, yeah, so Biggie was there and P. Diddy was there. Or Cream Puffy, man, was there. And he was arguing with someone. And I can't remember the dude's name. And I watched it on the interview and he was arguing with someone. Saying Tupac's name because Biggie was there and he was fucking keeping an eye on Biggie. Because Biggie started slipping off with Junior Mafia, if I've got that right. Correct me in the comment section. Was starting to do his own shit. And, 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 and Cream Puffy didn't want to lose that money. So he was just being a fucking bell end either way. Clearly frustrated as well. Ah, oh, there's so... I keep seeing Puffy's name appear, everyone. Everyone told me. Some dude said, stop. Just be careful when you put Puffy's name into stuff. Go fuck yourself, man. I don't give a fuck. Everyone knows. Even Eminem knew. At the end of a song, we all heard it. And that's why you've done nothing. Because you can't do nothing. Because if you say one thing, one thing, you know the whole world will be on you, man. And then you lose everything. Everything that you didn't get, you didn't give, you fucking tailcoated onto everybody. Real nigga, in the studio where Biggie and, and, and um, Puffy run, that's they, they shit? Mm. In they, in they studio. They run New York. Period. They niggas probably got a lot more money than anybody. They could probably pay the motherfuckers who got money. So, how the fuck they didn't know them niggas was down there? And why they didn't call you and tell you that the niggas was down there? Mm -hmm. That was my question. You know what I'm saying? Fucking great. He said the nigga question. shot two more times and he played like he was dead. And then and then he and then he said the nigga left the um the elevator and he said he started rolling a blunt. He said he started rolling a bloody ass blunt. He said he went and I said, you know, I started looking at him like what the fuck you mean? You rolled a blunt. He said he wanted to die high. So I said, okay, good. I I, I thought fucking hell. So the soldier plot thickens, okay? I thought he was saying that the other dude who shot him started rolling a blunt. And I'm like, that the audacity. No, 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 no. Tupac, whilst pretending to be dead after being shot, fuck knows where, including the bollocks, decides to roll a blunt. Uh, this dude's a fucking, he's a legend, man. You wrote a blunt. He said he wanted to die high. So I said, Fuck okay. Fuck yeah, he did. Good. I, I feel you. Continue with the story. I feel you on that. You know, yeah. fuck yeah. I want to die high too. I got a new song <laughs> from that, from him telling me that called I Want to Die High. You know what I'm saying? Release on a new album. Um, he has got an album out. And, uh, I'm all over this dude. He said he got to the top of the elevator and, um, and, and uh, the door opened and he, and he said, Biggie looked at him like he was a ghost and shit and you know, and, 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 and like I was telling the homies earlier, Pac ass was crazy. You know, you, 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 a crazy nigga is going to think everybody did it. That nigga did it. Kill him. He, he did it. Kill his ass, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, Biggie, Biggie might not have had nothing to do with it, but he was, you know, Pac was crazy. And he was like, that nigga has something to do with it. Kill his ass, too. And, you know, fuck, that nigga has something to do with it. Kill his ass, too. You know? So, I mean, shit. 
You can't blame a motherfucker who got shot five times like that. He mad as fuck. Ah, uh, this I, I fucking love this dude. Ah, oh, my God. This is the bloke I need to talk to. The, the, the way he articulates that, he's saying that he was just blaming everyone. He's saying, I don't think that Biggie would be a part of that. And, and potentially not. I don't I don't see the linking. I don't see the linking with Biggie. Uh, Cream Puff, absolutely. But with Biggie, I don't see it. But he's saying, like, <laughs> Tupac's crazy. So he's like, he did it. And he did it. Kill that motherfucker. He did it. Kill that fucker too. But he's saying, like, he just got shot five times once in the bollocks. Okay, and he was shot like a fucking bitch, or at least they were trying to. And he went out like a soldier in that moment. Obviously, he didn't die, but, but you know, he's fucking fuming. And now all these other interviews make sense. All the other interviews where he was fucking fuming. Oh, I get it now. Fuck. So, I mean, you know, he might, Biggie might not have had, I don't, Biggie might not have had nothing to do with it. He might have, it might not, you know mm. what I'm saying? But he didn't seem like the type of nigga that would just do that to a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Like, just said that, bro. Pac like that, but Puffy seemed like the type of nigga that might do some <laughs> shit like that. Really. <laughs> this dude's the best, the fucking best dude ever. Someone must know this man. I must know this man, and, and I'd like to speak to him just to say I think he's fucking brilliant. How can some people not see this? How can some people not see this? Okay? If everybody is pointing fingers. Oh, I love the way he says Biggie unsure about And I'm 50-50. I'm I haven't dug into the Biggie story yet. But as soon as he said fucking Cream Puff, notice he's like, yep, that motherfucker did. <laughs> Watch your back with him. He might, Biggie might not have had, I don't, Biggie might not Biggie have might, had nothing to might, do with him. He might have, this might dude's not, honest you know as hell. Saying? He didn't seem like the type of this nigga bridge. that would just do that to a motherfucker. You know what Face I'm saying? Face change. Like, to pop like that, but Puffy seemed like the type of nigga that might do some shit like that. He seemed a little, 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 you know, under, you know, a little creepish, <laughs> creepish. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like he'd creep on a motherfucker or something. Like, you know. Ah, he's still. I don't want to hit that nigga, man. You know. Like on a, on a slender, you know what I'm saying? I know them yeah. niggas. Big the time. Little niggas that are just, you know, like, you know put the wear it out on a, on a, on a slender. Rat. It's called a fucking rat, is what that is called. Ah, uh, I. Uh. I can't keep saying I love this dude. Yeah, I can. Fuck it. It's my channel. I say what the fuck I want. Little, I love you know, this dude. Under, you know, a little creepish. creepish Just creep, serious, creepish. dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, he creep on a motherfucker. Is he got blunt? Like, you know. Oh, go ahead and hit that nigga, man. You know. Like, on a, on a slender, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know them niggas. Time. Little niggas that are just, you know, like, hey, you know, put the word. Notice he's referring to little as well. Just notice the change. And he said the word might. The same word he used with Biggie, but it just shows how the inflection when you're talking about different things, how it can change dramatically. Same word in two different principles. He's saying, ah, oh, that Biggie might have, but it doesn't seem right. But he said Green Puff might be the type that does it. This little dude that's going around being a rat to people and whispering. Uh, it out on a, on a, on a slender t t to some killers or something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. This type of niggas, niggas is out there, you know, and they and they play like they good dudes. Yeah. It's they, funny you said that. They play like they're good dudes. This is the, the, the whole persona they're giving off to Cream Puff. Niggas is out there, you know, and they, and they play like they good dudes. Yeah. It's funny you said that, because I actually did an interview with Puffy's former bodyguard, Gene Deal. And he said that Puffy, he actually knew that something was going to happen to Tupac that day at Quad Studios. He said Puffy and Andre Harrell knew. Yeah, and that's what I, that's what I was saying. Harrell. Like, man, why you didn't call him and say, don't go to the fucking studio. Niggas is down there. You know what I'm saying? Um, that would have been the, 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 the right thing to do if, they, mm -hmm. if you have a, 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 a business, a client coming over there to do songs with your artist. You know, unless you mad at the nigga like that. Mm. So I mean, you know, man, it was all real, 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 real blurry. Um, and then you know, it, everything come to light when you start sitting back thinking about it and shit. You know, pausing. Now, out of curiosity, man, did Tupac ever speak to you about who he felt like was behind the attack? Did he feel like Haitian Jack or Jimmy Henchman was behind it? Did he ever talk to you about that? Yeah, he thought Haitian Jack was behind it, and um. And he thought Puffy and Biggie knew about it. He thought the whole, um, the whole uh, Junior Mafia clique knew about it. Mm -hmm. He thought they all knew about it. And um, 
this is the thing. Parker, it was so fucking aware. The dude was so intuitively aware. He knew what, who had done it or who was a part of it. I think the biggie is a question mark. Well, whether he did or didn't, I, maybe he knew, maybe he knew, maybe, or just in his gut as well, just figuring that out. But definitely with Puffy. Haitian Jack, why do I know that name? Is that one of the dudes that, that went into the... Um, the the hotel with Puck where this woman said that she was raped. Um and, and it is awful. For those who are actual victims and this woman, I had to stop watching the video. I had to stop watching it. A story changed a hundred and seven different times in the twenty minutes that I watched it. Um but I wanna just wanna know is Haitian Jack the, the dude that she said was in there as well? I just want to see how close this Haitian Jack was to Tupac. In, in, in surroundings to understand more. I'm reading the book at the moment around his death. There's talking about that. I just want to understand where Haitian Jack fits in, please. Um, the whole uh, Junior Mafia clique knew about mm -hmm. it. He thought they all knew about it. And, um, you know, he didn't know who, you know, he just knew, he just knew his enemies wasn't um, over there on the West. He knew, he knew that he got shot over there on the east like that. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. By some niggas he thought was his friends. Or he thought that that had his back. They didn't shoot him, but they could have they avoided that shit. You know, uh, in, in, as far as he, what he was concerned and as far, what I'm hearing from everybody else, mm -hmm. it, as, far, as far as Puffy knowing that them fools was down there, he could have called that man and said something, you know. Biggie's death didn't have anything to do with Pac. You know, um, it uh, on a on a subliminal note it did like on a you know, but it was some some shit. You know, Biggie didn't pay some, some motherfuckers. You know, he was supposed to supposed to pay, and you know that just added on to it with with Pac being dead. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This this dude knows so much, man, and and I love that his honesty as well when he's chatting. And, and and even that M bit what he's saying, like like B Tupac had nothing to do with Biggie's death. It was just the fact that Tupac had died. It's very easy to connect those dots and say that ah oh, Tupac sorted that, Tupac sorted that. But I believe what he's saying it was something to do with, with money owed or something else. I don't know. I haven't even looked into the Biggie situation. But again, going back to Cream Puffy, that fucking name keeps coming up. It comes up everywhere. And ask yourself, from watching what that dude said, with that dude that gives you creepy vibes, go and watch a Cream Puffy track. Go and watch one where he's dancing around like a fucking moron, okay? And tell me that dude's not a rat. That dude's not creepy as sin. He, he is. He just bleeds it. He's a dude that says, I'm untouchable. I've got so much money, I can do whatever the fuck I want. That's the vibe that it gives me, and I ain't changing shit on Brain Squeeze Reactions. I don't give a fuck about your opinion. I don't care how you feel about me saying that. My channel, my thoughts, I'm allowed an opinion. It's a fucking sort of free world. <laughs> Who knows? Let me know in the comment section what you think about uh, uh, whether Cream Puffy has got something to do with that. I, I definitely do. And you're welcome to challenge. You're welcome to challenge in any way, shape, or form. But there's a couple of people that I've watched now. The G, the G one, I was a bit like, okay, okay, the dude was about this dude. Pure, I, I, just pure, just pure in everything he says. And, and, and I fucking love this dude. I, I'm going to find one of his tracks and we're going to react to it. Someone give me a fucking amazing track from this dude. Now that I know that he does rap or he's a part of producing or whatever it was he said about an album coming out, let me know in the comment section as well. Anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching. Love you all. And that's about it. And it's, anyway, how are you? What? No, we don't have time for that actor. We got shit to do.